Simultaneously on Facebook and Instagram. It's just for me to interact with you as always. I've been on a small short vacation since Saturday and I'm just sitting down at home and reaching you live from Accra, Ghana. So I'll rest for two or three days, then action will begin again. I want to assure you that we're very serious, we're very ready, no shaking, we're very, very, we prepared for this for over 30 years, we've been preparing for this day. Um, it's exactly a week since I granted that interview on um, Paris News Channel in Lagos, and I can tell you, it's been a roller coaster. It's been a roller coaster. So we thank God. Someone who said I should go offline. Don't worry. You don't know our strategy. There is a foundation for everything in life. I'm not going to do everything in one day. So don't panic. We prepared for this. You will hear from us. We have the time. We have our timetable. And we will reach out to every part of Nigeria and beyond. So no shaking. A toast to you with my coffee. I love you. We've all been shouting, oh, Nigeria is bad, Nigeria is this, Nigeria is that. So now you have an option. And I'm a Democrat. You are free to choose whoever you want, but I'm the best option I can see right now. It doesn't get any better. Thank you, all those who have supported, all those who will support. God will bless you all. You know, I'm very confident this time that Nigeria has an option. You have an aspirant who God has preserved. I've never, never been in power. Not that I couldn't be in power. I could have been a commissioner. I could have been a councillor. I could have been a senator. I could have been anything I wanted to be. But God just wanted someone that would be totally fresh for Nigeria. What Nigeria deserves now is someone very fresh. Someone who is not coming with the baggage of the past. So, I assure you, I have the experience, I have the exposure, and I am ready to use the talent that God has given me. Because it's God, it's from God. We thank God. Thank you.
I don't talk about my friend in Namdekano. Then it means you have not been on my page. Even this morning, I've already posted about in Namdekano. Just this morning, go on Facebook and check it, sir. I talk about everybody, Sunday Bo, everybody, all prisoners of conscience. I'm not the type to abandon people, you know, when they need me. I've never abandoned people when they need me. So, thank you so much, Sylvia Gold. Thank you. Thank you. So, I just wanted to interact with you for a few minutes. I'm going to have my breakfast. Okay, and then rest a little. I'll be back. Thank you. Thank you. So, let's just do this. Let's do this. This is our power, the power of the thumb. Yes, if you can do this sign, I will appreciate. Yes, please, let's do this before I go. Our power is our thumb. So, press it. And let's keep pressing it. Let's press it. Because this is the power. It, we, they can no longer say, oh, it's because we don't have credible candidates. It's because we don't have it. That's why we're using, you know, just anybody. No. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Let's keep pressing. Let's keep pressing. Oh, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. Yes. Keep it going. Thank you. Keep it going. Keep it going. Thank you. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Can I get the PDP ticket? Yes, yes, yes. Because PDP now has a very good candidate, a credible candidate who has never been a governor, has never been a senator. Credible. Very close to the youth, understands their language. They understand his language. They speak the same language. PDP wants to win the election. It's not, nobody owns PDP. PDP is for everybody. PDP is not owned by anybody. And you remember that our chairman said it last week that they are going to provide a level playing field for all of us. So, and I'm going to sell myself very well. I can tell you nobody has my kind of credentials. Today, nobody. And I'm not being immodest. Nobody. My credentials are solid. Solid. Rock solid. I've played my role, my part at home and abroad. Globally, globally, five continents, over 60 countries, we've demonstrated the capacity that Nigerians are among the greatest people on earth. There's nowhere you go, Nigerians are doing great things except back home in Nigeria. That must change. We must make use of our best talent wherever they are in the world. Oh my God, Facebook is on fire. Keep it going, keep it going. So don't panic. PDP wants to win the election. I can tell you, the governors want our party to win, and God has provided PDP with a candidate, a candidate who is totally fresh, totally fresh. That is it. Nigeria deserves a fresh beginning. We suffered too much. Our people are suffering, and now we have someone who is absolutely fresh. Good education, good pedigree, good experience, good exposure, all the connections in the world. You can't get it any better. God made it happen. God made it happen. So please keep pressing it. Let's keep pressing it. This is our power. It's our turn. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I'm enjoying this. God bless you. You can see it. In fact, let's do something. Let's do something as you are going. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good, 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 good. This is nice. Oh, wow. Wow. I am a niece. Thank you. Thank you for your effort. Thank you for your support. Wow. Thank you, the best, best. We shall get there. I have no doubt that we shall get it. Don't be bullied. Don't be intimidated by anybody. You know, people cannot use your own money to come and bully you, okay? You have a leader in me who will not betray that trust. You have a fresh leader. Fresh. Fresh. Trust me. That's what we've been asking for. Now God has provided 
you with one. So I could have been in government all this while. Something would have happened along the line. But God kept me. It's not easy to make it in Nigeria without government. It's not easy. But I resisted the temptation of being in government. I tried. And God deliberately kept me for this journey. It's incredible. I can't even believe it myself. With all my contacts, I could have been a minister. I could have lobbied to be anything. But God kept me. God kept me. Oh, Facebook, keep going. Keep going. You are the best. Ah, Facebook. Over 400. And still counting. Thank you. Akin Tola Taiwo. I don't look like someone who fools around. All my life I've taken my job, my assignments very seriously. I'm not kidding. I'm very serious. Wish I win. Eric Ogoms, wish I win. There is no question about it. You see, everything in life is about time and timing. Our time has come finally to win for Nigeria, not for me, not for my family. Thank you. Thank you. Keep it going. Oh, Facebook, we're doing very well. We're doing very well. We're doing very well. Mm. Wow, wow. This is beautiful. Ah, Instagram is looking so beautiful. And Facebook is just climbing. Wow. Wow. Ah, the Instagram people want to yari. God bless you. This morning, someone called me an Instagram president. I take it. These are modern times. You use what you have to get what you want. Some people want me to go and compete with hardcore politicians who will be spending money from here to here and going and be lying to people. After four years, in fact, the moment they, they win election, you never hear from them again until the next four years. I'm not that kind of person. I've been interacting with you. And I've been helping to the best of my ability. So, thank you, Austin of all. Thank you. Why am I coming out now? Because I'm ready. I prepared for over 30 years. I'm ready. My mentor, Chifabela, came out when he was ready. I studied, I studied how he did it. We have the formula. Oh, the musical industry. You know, I've invested all my life in music, in comedy, in fashion, in entertainment, in events. I've invested all my life. I know what it takes to get the youth to be gainfully employed, to give them opportunities. I've supported them globally, not just in Nigeria. I've gone all over the world with them. They know me, I know them. You know, so if you waste this opportunity and you allow politicians to deceive you or to bully you into supporting them again, well, you know me, I have a job. But I must do this for my country. I have a job. I have a very good job. I can live and survive in any part of the world. But God preserved me for this day. I am not desperate. I'm not one of those desperate politicians who just want to add president to their name and then that's it. They do nothing for eight years. No, I'm not one of such. God knows. If getting government appointment was my priority, I would have been in one of the big parties long ago. You know, so you say you want a new, uh, you want fresh candidate, you want, now you have one in Dele Momodo. No more, no less. Oh, Facebook, I thank you. You guys are awesome. The name of the Godfather will not let you win. There is no Godfather bigger than God the Father. Trust me. And if you are talking about Godfathers, there is none of them that I don't know. One on one that I have not known for over 30 years. There is none. Okay? You will see when I start going out. <laughs> you will see what will happen. You will be impressed. You will see the level of work I have done in my life in over 40 years. You will see it. 
I started way back, long ago, you know. You want to see a debate between David Momodu and Tinubu? That would be interesting. Both of us worked for Chief Abiola, you know, in those days. We worked for June 12th. <laughs> you know, it would be interesting to meet him. I'll be ready to meet any one of them in the debate. As you were met Tinubu or Shibajo, you know, I can tell you in advance that I have my, my formula. I'm not intimidated by anybody. I'm not a kid. I've been in this game for a long time. I've participated in presidential elections at home and abroad. I have what it takes. Confidence. I won't be bullied by anybody, trust me. You want me to tell you my manifestos? Not on this platform. You will read it, you will get it when we are ready to release it. That's not a problem. We have the most solid manifesto and we are going to sign, sign, you know, a bond with the people of Nigeria. It's not just about sending out a manifesto, we will sign a bond. We will, these are our deliverables. If we don't do it, feel free, you can charge us to court, you can do whatever you like. You will see a leader you've never seen before in Nigeria. <laughs> that one I guarantee you. We're not kidding. Wow, this thing is climbing. Fantastic this morning. Wow. This is wonderful. You see, I don't know why Nigerians, some Nigerians are so doubtful. You stand no chance. So who has the chance? So you are happy for them to bring your own money to buy votes. You have someone who says, I have a chance. You have someone who has the confidence. You have someone who has the education. You have someone who has the contact globally and you are still doubting then it means you are saying Nigeria will never change or Nigeria should never change so you want to continue the way we are it baffles me how young people will think that what we deserve are those who have taken your money to come back to buy your votes I'm not one of such I've been in this struggle since 1978 as a pioneer jambite at the then University of Fife, now Bafemi Awolowo University. We're not going to shake. We're not going to blink. We're ready. Majority of Nigerians are tired of this old, old. I'm not, when I say old, I'm not talking about age. But the same people who have put us in trouble cannot come and say they want to be president of Nigeria. That's what Nigerians have said. That's what they are telling me everywhere. We have a chance to reset the button of Nigeria. We have the chance. We have the chance to have a country where no man shall be oppressed. We have a chance where the people of the southeast of Nigeria can look forward to having a Silicon Valley and make, making use of their God-given talent. I've always said it. There is no way I'll be the president of Nigeria and every part of Nigeria, every region of Nigeria will not have something to specialize in. I will not be a government or a president that will sit inside that rock for four years and will not interact with these people. A president that will only interact during elections. No. You will see a leader who will wear his jeans and his shirt and march in the fields and go on the streets and supervise the work. We made it, make it look like rocket science. No, it's not rocket science. People are doing it. In one time, just one time, President John Dramani Mahama built brand new airports in Ghana, built new roads in Ghana, built new hospitals in Ghana. We have the resources, we have the people, we have the brain, we have the manpower. I'm not, I'm not fooling around. The first thing you must kill is this self-doubt. Keeps doubting. Nigeria cannot do this. Oh, this cannot happen in Nigeria. Why? <laughs> We're ready. I love you.
oh, it will be interesting to see me debate with anybody. No, tell me anybody who can meet me in a debate and let's talk. I've told you. I've told you. Anyone they bring in APC cannot face me. But if you put a candidate who is not cosmopolitan enough, who is not exposed enough, who is not experienced enough, and I emphasize education, you cannot do well. You have to be logical, you have to be reasonable, you have to be philosophical, you must understand psychology, you must combine all this for you to do well in a presidential debate. Don't forget, I am a writer. I am a communicator. This is what I've done for a living for about 40 years or more. I write for a living. I speak for a living. I think for a living. You can't get it any better. If you are looking for Socrates, Aristotle, of our time, Plato, you will have one in this gentleman. I'm not kidding. I'm not I'm very serious about this. Oh thank you. I have your support Joe from Ghana. Thank you so much. When Nigerian shops were closed down in Ghana, I rose up. I didn't care where the people come from. It's not about where you come from. It's about compassion. I rose up and rallied around and made sure that we supported our people in Ghana. I've always done that for years. This is the bloodless revolution we've been waiting for. We're not going to fire a single bullet. We're not going to fight anybody. We're just going to go out there and present a clean record. That's all. That's all. Thank you. Wow. This is awesome. Trust me. This is awesome. Let me take this picture before I go. This is good. This is good. I thank you all. I thank you all. I'll be back later. You will see me by the grace of God every day. I will talk to you. If you have questions for me, please get it ready. It is not possible for any politician to go to every part of the world. This is the best technology God has given us to reach you wherever you are in the world. So those who are angry that we are using Instagram, we are using Facebook, we are using Twitter, let them be angry. It's because they don't have the platforms. Let them build their own platforms, okay? I'm going to join Twitter to it later today so you can hear me from Twitter. You will see me from Instagram, see me on Facebook. We will reach you all over the world. We are Nigerians. No Nigerian should be stopped from participating in the elections of Nigeria. In fact, those who are live abroad are more worried, they are more concerned about their people back home. They are the ones sending money to their people back home. So, anybody who is not happy that we have that platform, we have that access to reach our people all over the world, so be it. We will use this platform very well. We will sell our programs, we will sell it to you. You will ask me questions and I will answer to the best of my knowledge and ability. My vision for Nigeria, number one, is we must reunite Nigeria. We must reunite Nigeria. It's very important. Please, just one second. Just one second. Okay, I'll call him back. Thank you so much. So, let me allow you to start your Monday very well. I'm sure we've started well. You know, I feel energized seeing so many people right now. I can't believe it at this time of the day, on the Monday morning. I love you too. Jimeto Matthew, I love you too. Thank you. 
Thank you. Wow. Will I declare my asset? I will declare my asset publicly and I will challenge anybody who knows anything otherwise to come out. I will declare it publicly. I will not just declare, I will tell you my means of income. I challenge any of our politicians to try it. I will declare my asset publicly. 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 And I will tell you how I came back the money with which I built those assets. Then you will know that God truly preserved me for this. I challenge anybody to do it. I will. Well then, I repeat, I will publicly declare my assets. And you will see that I have not been a government contractor. I have not been. No. All I do is media. You hardly find people like that in Nigeria. I'm not a government contractor. So I'm not afraid to declare my asset. You will be shocked when you know at what age I was able to buy my first house in Nigeria. You, nobody will believe it. All I was doing was to build my business. Because I know for as long as I have a business, I and my dependents and my staff, my team, we will survive. Instead of building mansions all over the places, I was building my mansion in people. I was investing in our young ones, our musicians. I was visiting our soldiers for over 20 years. I was visiting our soldiers in the bush, in Sierra Leone, in Liberia, and offering my little, little help to them. At the time, I wasn't sure I would contest election. So, <laughs> the time has come. Let all those who say they want to contest, let them bring their credentials. Let them show what business they managed successfully before they became governor or senator. Let them bring it to you. <laughs> you, have this, <laughs> you have this leader for real this time. Let people show their credentials. You cannot tell me you understand the economy if you have not managed any business successfully. Let them show you what business they manage successfully on their own, not on their behalf. On their own. We grew Ovation from a 20,000 pound startup. 20,000. We needed 150. We had only 20,000. And we grew it into a multi million dollar empire. Ovation is organic. It's not artificial. We didn't have any big person to put money into it. We had to grow it slowly but steadily. And this year, Ovation will be 26 years. Come and show me how many leaders started small and grew his business to a multi-million dollar, multi-billion naira empire from 20,000 pounds in 1996. Come and show it. We've been running this for a quarter of a century. In 1992, at the age of 32, I got married. Chief Abiola, Chief Ganifayemi, everybody was there. What does that tell you? that I was already a successful man at 32. I was already very, I didn't have a vision at that time. Everybody was there. I arrived Lagos in 1988. At the age of 28, I came to look for a job in Lagos. Exactly two years after, in 1990, two years after, I became the highest paid editor in the whole of Nigeria. Let anybody who has achieved that among the candidates or aspirants come out and show us the credentials. At the age of 28, I came to Lagos. My father died when I was 13 years old, and I was left with my poor, unlettered, illiterate mother who struggled to send me to send me to school. And from that back, poor background, I became a global brand. Only God could have done that. Nobody else could have done it for me. 
let us present our credentials, where we started from, and our trajectory, and where we are today. Let's do it. Don't be afraid to ask questions from your leaders. Don't let anybody bully you with money. The only thing they can have that I, I don't have is money. But God himself will raise up the angels in heaven who will help me on this mission. Already, young Nigerians at home and abroad are already raising money. I can tell you to pay that if PDP says we are paying half a billion, we are paying one billion for a ticket, we are ready, we will do it. We are not joking. We are not joking. For the first time, you will see an aspirant who will be supported by the people of Nigeria. Yesterday, a woman called me from Nigeria, called and donated 300 cartons of food items. 300 cartons, sardines, convives. A woman called and donated it yesterday. God bless her. I don't know if she wants me to mention her name. I will ask and later, if she says yes, I will mention her name. People are excited that for once they are seeing a fresh candidate who has never been in power and who is probably more powerful than even those people who are in power. <laughs> this is not a joke. Pastors that I'm not close to are raising prayers this morning. A, a Ghanaian pastor raised this money. I'll pray it for I'll pray it for you. I just sent a thank you. I just sent a thank you. Let me look for him. You listen. A pastor, a Ghanaian pastor, big Ghanaian pastor. So guys. I want us to stand in prayer for Chief Dele Momodo that as he runs for presidency, the will of God will be done and the favor of God will prevail in his life. The favor of God will prevail. We are standing by this great man. I want everybody unmute yourself and let's pray for Chief. Unmute yourself. I mean, Put a song on the background and let's pray for Chief right now. Everybody, unmute yourself and let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray for Chief. We pray for Chief Dele. As you run for this presidency, we stand with you in prayer. In your journeys, in your travelings by air, by road, for campaign. May God protect you. Chief, may God protect you. Amen. May God bring helpers, Amen. financiers for this campaign. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Nobody, nobody, no betrayer. Amen. Amen. We pray for you. Amen. You are covered. Chief, you are covered. Amen. God will see you through. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You see, this man is not a Nigerian. Pastor Brian lives in London. He's a Ghanaian who has a huge, huge fan base amongst the youth of Ghana and beyond. I once spoke on his program and a lot of Ghanaian youths were very inspired. This morning, unsolicited, he sent me this prayer. So pray, pray along with me. Whether you are an imam, you are a pastor, we all speak to one God. My grandparents were Muslims. My parents were Christians. I'm a child of diversity. Momodu is the name of our prophet, Prophet Muhammad. That's my name. I share the same name with Prophet Muhammad. My Christian name is Joseph. I'm a child of diversity. So religion is not a problem in our family. I'm a Christian from a family of Muslims. Our name is Muslim. Momodu. I've never discriminated against anybody. 
God preserved me for this moment. I'm a child of diversity. I was born in Ilefe. Grew up partly in Ife, grew up partly in Mudakeke. At a time when the two communities were always fighting, I was right there in the middle. I have some of my best friends from Mudakeke, the Oloje days, the Uluye days, my cousins, the Uyima days. And then if you come to Ife, from the Adiremis to the Shijua days, you know, we all grew up, the Omichores, we all grew up, the Adewuyis, we all grew up. In effect, I'm a child of diversity. My father came from Edo State in a village called Yere in Owan East local government and migrated to Ilife and settled in Ilife and married a beautiful woman with some beautiful tribal marks, my mother, from Mogon Lufi in Osho State. I mean, <laughs> how do you do that? How do you explain it? God knew a day like this would come. So I, I have one leg in South South. My base, my father's home base is South South at those stage. My mother's home base is Southwest Osho State. And some of my best friends are in the Southeast. I'm a chief in Abia State. So the South is already united through one man, Dele Mamadou. And then, as we go up north, from north central to northwest to northeast, you will see millions of my friends. You'll be amazed at how God helped me to build that network. There is no Nigerian leader, the people we call the owners of Nigeria, who has not interacted with me one way or the other. From Baba, Babawa, Olushegun, Aremun, Okiki Olakan, Obasanjo, General, former President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, to General Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida, to General, uh, to General Absalam. Abu Bakr, former head of state, to Lieutenant General Theophilus Yakubu Danjuma, to Lieutenant General Aliyu Gozo. I have interacted with everybody. I was in prison under Babangida's government. I never held it against him. I am tolerant, I'm not vindictive. I was in exile for three years under the regime of General Sani Abacha. I never held it against his family. Nigeria needs to unite. We need to forgive ourselves and move on and begin to rebuild our nation. I will be the only PDP candidate who APC will not be able to fight because they know I've been very fair to them without being a member of their party. I've been fair to APC. I, I was never a member of their party when I supported President Buhari. And when I saw he wasn't performing well, I moved on. And I apologized publicly to Nigerians. I apologized. And when I supported PDP in 2019, I supported Alhaji Atiku Abubakar free of charge. I was not a member of PDP. So those who are saying this is it, I was already, you see, because I support on principle. It is difficult to find a Nigerian politician who will support free of charge on principle. Above all, Nigeria. Nigeria is more important to me than friendship. I have friends who have been in power. I have never stopped speaking truth to power. Most people, once their friends get power, they stop talking because they want to make money, because they want contract. I have never stopped talking. I was one of the biggest supporters of Buhari. I never stopped talking 
against that government when they started fumbling. Despite that, I've never taken anything personal. The government of Buari today has enjoyed publicity from me and ovation free of time since 2014. Till today, I am the only non-government person who receives mail directly from his office and I post them free of charge. I have all the evidence. The office of the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, I have been the only one receiving his pictures, his videos, whatever, all his activities, and I've been supporting and posting it free of charge. I'm saying it publicly. So I have nothing personal against anybody. No. The only problem I have with our leaders is that they have not performed, non-performance. Number two, the complicity of silence. When people keep quiet in the face of non-performance and tyranny, a lot of our leaders abandoned their people. That's why I respect, I respect northern leaders. They speak up. They don't say because Buhari is in power. Then when things are going wrong, they will keep quiet. Because they are suffering. A lot of people can go to their villages. A lot of northerners have reached out to me that daily we need a change. We need a fresh person in government. Because if we continue like this, a lot of us will not be able to go back home. So I didn't just wake up and say I want to be president. People can see that this is one man God has preserved for this journey. And I'm happy I'm able to talk to you this morning. This is one of my best sessions in a while. My food is ready. I've left my food because this is not about food. This is about us. This is about our country. I want a country where every Nigerian will feel like a Nigerian. No Nigerian should be a second class citizen. We're not kidding. Ernest. Please come. We're not kidding. Please take my food away and cover it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I can, and then put on the air conditioner. It's getting warm here. You know, we're not kidding. Once PDP gives me the ticket, it trusts me, it's over. Next year, June 12th, will be 30 years. God knows what he is doing. God has raised an Abiola boy. God has raised someone, okay, from that background to take Nigeria to the highest level. God did it. It's not me. It's not me. God did it. In 2010, 2011, a prophet of God T.B. Joshua called me and said, Dele, I, I can see you want to be president of Nigeria, you are not going to win. I said, I know, sir, because my party was very small. We had no chance. He said, no, keep campaigning, don't stop. I said, but I can't win. He said, no, it's not about today, it's about tomorrow. That tomorrow has come now. There have been prophecies that even me, sometimes people will call me. Someone sent me a message on Twitter yesterday. You won't believe it. Where is the, my Twitter phone? Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Oh, it's one of the phones I'm using here. We will show that one later. Told me about a dream in 2018 that I will be president of Nigeria. I laughed at the man. I told him, I said, I don't see how that is possible. Yesterday, the man did a screenshot of that dream and sent to me that did I not tell you you will contest again? This thing is not it's spiritual. It's not a joke. It's God. It's not me. Me, I'm just a vessel. I'm not, trust me, I'm not desperate. And that's why I'm enjoying what I'm doing. I'm not desperate. People think, oh, he hey, just wants to be popular. What other popularity am I looking for in life? What popularity am I looking for again in life? What money am I looking for in life? I have one house in London where we live. I told you I will declare my assets publicly. 
when we bought that house about 20 years ago, I know how much it was worth. Today, I know how much it is worth. I have one house where I'm speaking to you in Ghana. I have one home in Nigeria, a flat, a penthouse in Ikoyi. I have an office accommodation in Ikejaji Are. I have a library resort and building in Ibadan because I'm already planning my retirement. That's all. And I have a small home I built in Ife, where my sister lives at the moment. We will show you everything. I don't have mansions everywhere. I've used the little money that, money that God gave me to empower people, to send people to school, to give scholarships, to give palliatives to every Nigerian, every part of Nigeria. I have the evidence here. On my phone, I have an app. I can tell you. Tell me your area in Brono, in Bauchi, and I will give you the names of where I have given money to people, to, just to help them. I was happy when a young man from Taraba State one day told me that from 5,000 naira I gave him, he's now selling kerosene and he's doing well. We sent him another 10,000 naira. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I'll go to my app now. I'll go to my app now. Uh, the app was produced by a Ghanaian lady called Farida Bedwe, who saw me distributing money and said, No, you can do better. You must be able to be accountable to your donors. Our leaders will tell us they distributed 10 billion, but you won't see anybody who has ever received the money. I have it here. I will show you in a minute. It was designed by this lady, Farida Bedwe in Ghana. She wasn't in Nigeria. Oh, what's wrong with the internet? You know? She wasn't in Nigeria. She did it. And today, I can tell you from every part of Nigeria where the money has come from. Let's see if this other internet. I'm changing the internet for this. Good. The site is up. You can see it. This is the site. You can see it. This is the site. And you can see the money as this boss. But let me show you what is most exciting. Applications by state. All the states in Nigeria applied. We did not discriminate against anybody. That is how you will know a leader. Oh, what's wrong with this internet? Then, oh, okay, he just opened and I, uh, I was too quick. Mm -hmm. Applications by state. Yeah, these are all the states. You can see, we made sure we distributed money to every state. Now, <laughs> listen to this. Abia State. I will be, if I click on Abia, I'm going to do so now. Abia State, I will tell you where people apply for. Aba, Akwete, Arochuku, Bende, Ebe Mohafia, Isiala Oboro, Umbalano, Mboko, that's the area where I got my chieftaincy in Abia State, Unkuagu, Isochi, Oke Ikepe, Okuala Ngwa, Omoba, Osisioma, Umaiya, and we got a total of 864 applications from Abia State. You can see the breakdown. We're not joking. That's it. So let's go to the next one. That's Adamawa State. In Adamawa, we got applications from Demsa, Fufore, Ganye, Gela, Gire, 
Gombi, Gulak, Guyuk, Hong, Jada, Jimeta, Lamodi, Maya, Mayu Belwa, Michika, Mubi, Numan, Sheleng, Song, Tongo, and Yola. And we got a total of 1,850 applicants. Can you believe that? Okay? Then let's go to the next one. Aqua Ibom State. In Aqua Ibom, we got Abak, Abat, Afar Ikot Ebak, Afar Ofiong, Eket, Enwang, Etinan, Eyofi, Ibiaku, Untok, Oko, Idu, Ikot Abasi, Ikot Akpa Unkuk, Ikot Edibon, Ikot Ekwene, Ikot Ibritan, Itu, Inpat Enin, Unto Edino, Nong Undo, Odoro Ikwe, Odot, Okoita, Okopedi, Okroete, Oron, Upenekang, Ukuo, Uranyang, Ure, Ure Ofang, Utu Etim Eko, and Uyo. And then we got a total of 1,213 applications. What does this tell you? Those who say, oh, internet is not important. Social media is not important. All these villages, have I ever been there? No. But I am able to reach them via this application which was designed by a Ghanaian lady. She volunteered to do it for me and I am eternally grateful to my dear sister Farida Bedwe. So let's now go to Anambra. We're serious. We start from Abagana, Achala. The then Igwe of Achala was very, very kind to me. May God bless his soul. Agwata, Ajali, Anaku, Atani, Oka, Hiala, Neni, Nnewi, Inteje, Nzam, Ogidi, Ojotu, Onicha, Otocha, Uzubulu, Upo, Upo, Umunze. All of these places sent in application, 676. You will see that in states where a lot of people are already gainfully employed, you know, Anambra is one of the most busiest states in Nigeria. And you have a lot of merchants, traders from that state. And a lot of world scholars are also from Anambra state. So you can see that the number of applications were fewer. In the states, where their governments have not been able to take care of them very well, you see a lot more applications because there is too much poverty in the land. Okay? So that is it. Then we go to Bauchi State. And this will shock you. Bauchi State. In Bauchi, we got applications from Alkaleri, Azari, Bauchi, Bogoro, Dambam, Darazo, Das, Gamawa, Jeade, Itas, Jamari, Kafi Madaki, Katagun, Kefi, Kefi, Misau, Ningi, Tafabalewa, Toro, Waji, Yana. And just can I tell you how many applications we got? 7,520 applications. You will not believe it. That's from Bauchi State. Now let's move to Bayelsa. Bayelsa is probably the smallest state in Nigeria. So we have only from a few places Ekerimo, Kahiyama, Nembe, Ogbia, Okoroma, Sagbama, Tuambras, and Yenogwa. And we got a total of 601 applications from Bayelsa. We go to Benue. In Benue, Adipo, Eliade, Buruku, 
Banjiba, Boko, Ogumale, Katsinaala, Lese, Makodi, Naka, Obagaji, Obarike Ito, Oju, Opoga, Otupa, Otupo, Sankela, Se Agbaragba, Uba, Uboko, Vandikia, Wanune. And that is a total of 1,745 applications from Benway State. Then we go to Brono. Wait for this. Brono State. Wait for this. We start from Askira, Azare, Bama, Beniske, Biu, Brie, Chibok, Damasak, Dambwa, Dikwa, Gajira, Gamburu, Gubio, Gudumbali, Kosa, Kadamari, Konduga, Kukwa, Kwayakusa, Mafa, Magumeri, Meduguri, Malamfatori, Mate, Munguno, Ran, Shani, and we got a total of 7,819 applications, 90 applications. 7,000, this is the highest level of applications. So you can see why the place is ravaged, you know. So when we come to government, we shall pay particular attention to that area. Because this app has shown me clearly why there is trouble in Bruno. Wherever the level of poverty is high, you will find a lot of people who are impoverished. So you must pay particular attention to Bruno State. Then we go to Cross River State, where you have my friend Professor Ben Ayade, Abuchiche, Akampa, Akpet Central, Boje, Kalaba, Efraya, Ikom, Ikot Nakanda, Itigidi, Obubra, Obudu, Odupani, Ogoja, Opoma, Sankwala, and Huyep. And we have a total of 1,163 applications from there. We go to Delta State. In Delta, you have Abo, Agbo, Akuku Igbo, Asaba, Bumadi, Burutu, Efun, Isiokolo, Isileoku, Koko, Kwale, Obiaruku, Obejo, Ogara, Ogwashiuku, Ole, Orerope, Otoudu, Otu Jeremy, Ozoro, Patani, Sapele, Hugeli, and Wari, and we got a total of 995 applications. Then we go to Ebony State, Abakaliki, Afiku, Afiko, Ezilo, Ezango, Iboko, Isiaka. Isu, Ungudweda, Ubiozara, Unebonyechara, Uneke, Ubudu, and we had a total of 712 applications. Now to my own home state of Edo, Edo State, we have Abudu, Afuze, Agenebode, Aochi, Benisiti, Eho, Ekuma, Fuga, Idobo, Igara, Igweben, Igubazua, Irua, Okada, Sabongidaora, Ubiaja, Uromi, Uselu, and then we got the applications from 741 applicants. Then we go to Ekiti State, Adu Ekiti, Aramoko Ekiti, Efan Alaye, Emuru Ekiti, Idwekiti, Igedekiti, Ijerwekiti. I once lived in Ijerwekiti when I worked for Chief Akemaburu in about 1983. Ikerekiti, 
ikole kiti ilawe kiti isa kiti iye kiti <coughs> ode kiti omu kiti otu kiti oye kiti and we got a total of 1,170 applications. NS. Sorry, just a minute. I'm trying to replenish. Because it's a serious matter today. Please uh, clean this up and bring hot water for coffee. No, this one. Yes. Yes, so... We now go to Enugu State. Agbani, Agogu Owa, Amanguze, Ogu, Enugu, Enugu Ezike, Ubaguaka, Ikem, Indiabo, Nkwo, Nike, Nsuka, Obolo Afo, Obede, Oji River, Udi. We got 632 applications from Enugu State. Federal Capital Territory. You see? We went everywhere. We didn't discriminate against any anyone. Abaji, Abuja, Wari, Wagwalada, Kuje, Kwali, and we got a total of 155. 155 applications. This is what we call accountability. So we already know most of the local governments in Nigeria, they are the problem areas and where for us to target and what we need to do. We are not joking. We are going to use science to solve the problem of modern world. Bajoga, Bilin, Bo, Deba, Duku, Gombe, Kaltungo, Kumo, Malamsidi, Nafada, Talase. We got a total of 2,958 applications from Gumbi State. So you can see what I was saying that we have already mapped out every section of Nigeria and every segment of existence. So we know the needs of the people. If you don't know the needs of your people, you cannot solve their problems. You can't solve their problems. I'm carrying everyone along. That's why I'm here, sir. You know, it's not that uh, we wanted to waste your time. I just wanted you to see some of the effort. This is just a tip of the iceberg. We've done so many things, quietly and secretly. We prepared. Thank you, Dr. Baba. So now, we leave Gombe State and go to Imo State. You can see it. That we have been everywhere. Abo, Afouru, Amaigo, this is state now. Awo Idemili, the Kenafai, Egbema, Iho, Isinweke, Itu, Inbidi, Inquere, Nenasa, Nwari Ubi, Oguta, Okigwe, Okwe, Olu, Owere, Umu Elema, Umu Guna, Umuma, Umu Nduba, Umu Neke Ungo, Uruala. We got a total of 852 from Imo State. So you can see we know our country very well. Let any politician bring out his own statistics and how he has interacted with Nigerians. Let them bring it. I challenge any politician who has touched every part of Nigeria like I have done to please come out and show us the evidence. This is a simple app designed by a Ghanaian who was not in Nigeria. This is computer. Nigerians don't know why we are backward. We are backward because we are still using 18th century, 19th century, you know, applications, strategy to solve the problems of Nigeria. You must use science to solve modern problems. Now, let's leave Imo State and go to Jigawa. I will read everything. Be patient. If you have to go, you can come back. I will upload them. You can come back later. And it will be permanently on record for everybody to see the efforts we have made. Those who are saying delay is not serious, delay is this, delay is that. So if this is not seriousness, then let Nigeria continue to be the way it is. There is nothing anybody else can do. 
uh, my, 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 my idea is let me play my part and leave the rest to posterity and to God. That's all. Now we have arrived at Gawa State. Aoyo, Bebura, Bininkudu, Bimiwa, Duse, Gagarawa, Gansa, Garaki, Gume, Guri, Gwaran, Gwiwa, Adija, Jahun, Kafinausa, Kakama, Kaugama, Kazaure, Kiri Kazama, Kiyawa, Naigateri, Malam Maduri, Miga, Rinjin, Roni, Sule, Tankaka, Taura, and how many? 312 applications. That is it. So we move from there. We go to Kaduna State, where my very dear friend and brother is doing is doing his work as governor, Nasiru El Rufai. When I contested in 2011, it was one of those I wanted to be my vice president. But of course, uh, it declined. Uh, Kaduna State now we have Anchau, Bimingwari, Giwa, Guantu, Unkuyi, Ikara, Kachia, Kaduna, Kafanchan, Kagago, Kaijuru, Kaura, Kauru, Kujama, Koi, Maigana, Nakafi, Makira, Sabungeri, Saminaka, Turunku, Zaria, Songwa, Zongwa. And we got 2,190 applications from Kaduna State. Now we go to Kano. Dr. Baba, this is your state. I know you are watching. Ajingi, Albasu, Bagwa, Bebeji, Bichi. The Emir of Bichi has been my friend of over 30 years. Over 30 years. Great gentleman. Great gentleman. Bunkure, Dambata, Darkin Kudu, Darkin Tofa, Gako, Garumalam, Gaya, Gezawa, Guazo, Kabo, Kano, Karaye, Kibia, Kiru, Kimbotso, Kunchi, Kura, Madobi, Minijibe, Rano, Rimingado, Rawai, Rogo, Shanono, Zumala, Takai, Tofa, Sasanyawa, Tudunwada, Ngogo, Warawa, Wudil, Zakrai. Let me tell you, we have a total of 955 from Kano. Kano is one of the biggest states in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Uh, you can take that one anyway. Please put on the AC so that the coffee doesn't get cold. Sorry, I just have to quickly replenish. Yeah. So let's leave Kano and go to Katsina. That is the home state of our president, President Muhammad Buhari. And the governor, yes, the governor, was a speaker. I once hosted him in my, in my house in Ghana, I'm sure over 15 years ago or thereabouts. Bakuri, Batagarawa, Batsari, Baure, Bindawa, Chalanchi, Damusa, Dandume, Danja, Daura, Duchi, Dushinma, Faskari, Funtua, Ingawa, Jibia, Kafor, Keita, Kankara, Kankea, Katsina, Kofi, Kusada, Meadu, Me, Meadua, Malunfashi, Mani, Mashi, Matazu, Musawa, Rimi, Sabua, Safana, Sandamu, Zango. And we got a total of 661 applications from our president's home state. 
you know the beauty of this is that we can trace all these people all of them on average they are under the age of 46 so they are young people they are vibrant they are energetic they want to walk some of them need help to go to school some of them need help to set up their businesses some of them are widows we have all the statistics we have their phone numbers we have their phone numbers so we can reach them anytime i can talk to them i'm going to start talking to them one by one as many people as i can reach i will pick at random from all the states so i have a total of over sixty thousand names and applications already from these people so uh, let's leave Katsina and now go to Kirby State. Alero, Hagungu, Bagudo, Bese, Bininkebi, Bunza, Dakingari, Gwandu, Jega, Kalgo, Kamba, Kangiwa, Mahuta, Meyama, Riba, Sakaba, Shanga, Wara, Yelwa, and Zuru. So we got a total of 407 applications from Kirby State. So we go to the next state, Kogi, where the governor, Yaya Bello, my friend, my brother, the youngest governor in Nigeria says he wants to be the next president, which I meet on the field. Abedjukolo, Adogo, Ajaka, Apafa, Ankpa, Dekina, Ida, Isonu, Iyara, Kaba, Koton Cafe, Lokoja, Mopa, Obangidi, Odwere, Ogaminana, Oguma, Okene, Opo, Onyidega, Ngolao, and we got a total of 1,908 applications from Kogi State. We leave Kogi and go to Kwara. Kwara, we start from Afon, Araro Miokmi, Bodesaidu, Fufu, Ilemona, Ilofa, Ilori, Kayama, Kosubosu, Lafiaji, Ofa, Okiri, Omoara, Owishi, Patigi, Share, and we got a total of 1,285 applications from Kwara. So we leave Kwara and go to Lagos State. Lagos, our own Lagos. Agege, Ajegunle, Akodo, Apapa, Badagri, Ebutimeta, Ekpe, Festal Town, Ifako, Ikeja, Ikorodu, Ikotun, Ikoyi, Lagos, Mushin, Ojo, Ojota, Oshudi, Shomulu, Surulere. We got 3,000. 249 applications from Lagos State. Now we go to Nasarawa, where my good friend and brother used to be governor. Yes. Um, where do we start from? Nasarawa. Yes, that's the home state of Almakura. My very dear friend, very brilliant man. Akwanga, Awe, Boma, Garaku, Keru, Kiana, Kefi, Lafia, Nasarawa, Nasarawa Egon, Obi, Toto, Wamba. We got 612 applications from Nasarawa State. Then we go to Niger State. Niger State has produced two presidents of Nigeria, General Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida and General Absalami Abubakar. So we have two of them from there. 
It's a very, very great state in Nigeria. Very, very important state. You know, it's you know, just somewhere at the middle. Agai, Agwara, Bangi, Bida, Enagi, Gauba Bangida, Kagara, Kacha, Kotangura, Kuta, Kutigi, Lapai, Lemu, Maikunkele, Mashegu, Mina, Mokwa, Nasko, Niubusa, Paiko, Rijau, Sabonguse, Sakimpawa, Suleja, Ushishi. And we got 1,305 applications from Niger State. Sorry if you are tired, but I want to place this on record. I will do this from time to time to let you see that we are in touch with every part of Nigeria. There is no politician today who has done what we are doing. Even Buhari is not able to produce this, you know. We go to Ogun State, where my wife comes from. My wife is from Ijebubo, her mom is from Ijebubo Day. So I'm partly from Ogun State. Abel Kuta, Abigi, Aton, Ayetoro, Ifo, Ijebubo, hey, that's my wife's town. Her father was the late Chief Akiola Adaramaja, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, SAN and the first attorney general of Ogun State. Her mom, Mrs. Adaramaja, is from Ijebude. Now, Ikene is where Chief Obafemi Olo, the late stage, you know, came from. And Mama, Hana Idogu, Didogu Aulo, you know. Uh, we moved from Ikene to Ilaro. Imeko, Imeko is where Papa Oshofa came from, the founder of the Celestial Church of Christ. Ipokia, Ishara is partly where Professor Wallace now comes from, Ishara and Abekuta, you know. Uh, Ituri, Odeda, Odu, Bulu, Ogbere, Ota, Owode, Shagamu. We got 1,547 applications from there. Then we go to Undo State. Akure, uh, God bless the former DJ of Akure, uh, Obabi Adeshida. He was my father, great man. Bolon Duro, Ifon, Igbaraoke. Igbekebo, Igbokoda, Iju, Ikare, Ileluji, Iswa, Itaobulu, Odeirele, Oka, Okay, Agbe, Okay, Tipuba, Ondo, Ore, Owena, Owo. We got a total of 1,303 applications. You want me to go on my record? I'm doing this thing one by one. Okay, be patient. There is no one with a better record. I will tell you the story of my life. Okay? I'll tell you the story of my life. Be patient. I can't do everything at once. You know? So we move from Undo and go to Osho State. That's where my mother came from. My mother came from Bangon, Olufi, out of the job. Yes, so I'm so proud. And I was born in Ileife. So this is a very important state as well to me. Just a minute. Let's quickly do something. Yeah. Um, Oshu State, we start from Akumu. Awo. Bodeoshi. Ede. Ede is a very important town where the Adelikis come from. Ejigo. Bangon Luffy, that's my mom's place. Ibokun, Ifetedo, Ifan, Ijebu Jesha, Ikiri, Ikiun, Ilaonobun, Ile Ife, 
That's the place of my birth. Il est il fait à faire mon lobby toto. Il est au bout. Hey, my friend come from Ile Ogbo, Femi Kaede from Ile Ogbo. Ile Sha, we call it Ule Sha. Olu Jadu Jani Bodhi. Jaye Ola, Olu Jadu Jani Bodhi. Jaye Oba Wu, Yadje Oni Go Oshu. I try to speak some in Jesha. Ile Ogbo, Ipe Rido, Ipe Tumodu, Iragbiji, Iwo, hey, I'm the Are of Iwo Land. Yes, so... Moju Bakabi is in me of a brashid, a dewali akobi, ibao. Okay, Lana Boon, I'm the bashaw of Okay Lana Boon, Moju Bakabi is in me of a dead look, a bolani, a runike, the first, a runike, the first. Great man, great scholar. Oshobo Ruki, Okuku, Oshu. We had a total of 1,602 applications. Then we go to Oyo State. That's one of my favorite states. I, I love Oyo so much. That's why I'm building my retirement, retirement home in Ibadan. I go to Modu, Ajawa, Akana, Ayete, Egbeda, Erua, Ibadan, Idiyanyure. Ido, Igbeti, Igbora, Igboho, Ikoyile, Isain, Iwereile, Iyanofa, Jobele, Keishi, Moniya, Ogumosho, uh, we lost two prominent people in Ogumosho recently, Oba Jagumbade, uh, and uh, as well as uh, uh, the former governor Oyato, Benio, Odomi, Odomi, Okeho, O tu o yo o yo ala fi hmm ikuba ba ye ye ala se keji orisha oba lamidi adeyemi the third be ni shogoluku zo oko ya shagiri lagiri o lakiri kata fi gbedunbo shaki tede we got a total of 2312 applications from our state be patient we are getting there Plato, Angware, Bab, Bakinladi, Basa, Bukos, Bukuru, Dengi, Joss, Kwai, Langtang, Mabudi, Mangu, Pangshin, Riyan, Shendam, Tunkus, Wase. We got a total of 958 applications from Plato. Someone said I was campaigning with 5,000 naira. I wasn't campaigning with 5,000 naira. I'm only stating what I've done with my life, with my private resources and that of other people. Our government promised 5,000 naira to Nigerians when they were coming to power. They are not able to account the way I'm doing it now. So if you don't appreciate little things, you will never appreciate great things. I've started humbly. I'm very humble about it. And I'm happy I am able to do this. Uh, let's go. We leave plateau and go to rivers. We have we have the great governor, the great governor. Yes, in some wiki is my favorite governor. He's easily the best governor in Nigeria, Mr. Project, as we all call him. So we start from Buguma, Dejima, Eberi, Emoha, Isioko, Po. Incha, Ngo, Ogu, Okei, Okrika, Omoku, Opobo, Portakot, Rumundo Maya, and Sapenwa. And we have a total of 922 applications. So that's it. We leave rivers and we go to Sokoto State. Sokoto where we have my Baba, the Sultan of Sokoto, and our great governor, my dear brother, yes, Aminu Tambua, as the governor. Bali, Binji, Bodinga, Danji, Gada, Gidamadi, Goronyo, Guadabawa, 
ilela ilela isa kede kwari raba sabombini shagari silame sukutu tambua tureta wamaku uono yabo and we got 430 applications from Sokoto. Now we go to Taraba. Taraba, we have Baisa, Bali, Dunga, Gengu, Ibi, Jalingo, Karim Lamido, Lau, Lisam, Mutumbiu, Pantisawa, Seti, Sunkani, Takum, Wukari, Singh. So we got a total of 4,000. 659 from Taraba. Wow. We have two states to go. Yobe. Babangida. Bara. Buninyadi. Damagum. Damaturu. Dapchi. Fika. Gashwa. Geidam. Jajimaji. Yakuso, Kanama, Mechina, Unguru, Potiskum. Some phone calls are disturbing us. So let's continue. Potiskum, Sabongari Nyangere, Isufari, and we got a total of 1,275. Then we go to Samfara State. Anka, Bakura, Bukuyu, Bungudu, Gumi, Guso, Kala Namuda, Maradu, Maru, Shinkafi, Talata Mafara, Safe, Uzomi, and we had 793 applications. So, you can see I've gone through 36 states in Nigeria plus the Federal Capital Territory. We have these ladies and gentlemen, and so they are able to provide us, you know, an average need from every part of Nigeria. We've done our research. We are ready from day one to hit the ground running. There is no government in Nigeria who has been able to do this. There is none who has been able to do this. So those who are still complaining, I wish you well. I wish your candidates well. I have nothing against anybody. I'm only presenting my own plan. You ask for my plan, and I'll show you a glimpse of a little part of my plans. We have so many things in every area. So we know what we want to do for Nigerians. If all our leaders had done this, maybe we will not be where we are. So, help me God. Thank you for listening to me. It is time for me now to go and have my breakfast. It's already after 11 in Nigeria and 13 past 10 in Ghana. I wish you well and we shall be talking to you again some other time. Maybe later today or tomorrow, I'm not sure. But I will try to reach out to you every day so you can ask your questions and we can respond. Thank you. So we can do that before we go. We can quickly do that. Let's do it. Our power is our thumb. And the hashtag is Dele Momodu, we move. Dele Momodu, we move. Dele Momodu, we move. Let's do it quickly. Your thumb is your power. Don't waste it. Your thumb is your power. Please don't waste it. Your thumb is your power. Let's not waste it. We thank God Almighty for this day, for giving us this day, for preserving us, for protecting us for this day. It's a great journey ahead, and I pray that we'll make that journey together and we arrive at our destination together. God bless you all. Have a blessed day. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oluwa etobi etobi o etobi 
Kuma se mi tale fi Shafi we re o Eto bi yes o dile mo du imu Kuma se mi tale fi Shaka we re o Eto bi o lua o Tala ba fi o we Talo le ba o dog ba o Olo run to jo Talaba fi owe eh Oluwa Oluwa wa Oru kore ti Ni gito Ni go Go aye Oru kore ti Ni gito Jiova You are the most high Jiova You are the most high God Obamiton shum Tenikon ule shim Oru kore ti ni yito, oba mi ton shun te ni kon ule she. Oru kore ti ni yito, oluwa, oluwa, oluwa wa. Oru kore ti ni yito, ni bo, bo aye. Oru kore ti ni yito, ji o ba. Awa nyo Olo nwa o Awa nje wore kwe Iwa lo lu wa o Have a good day Thank you Mmm Mmm Mmm